Eridu, the first city on earth before the great flood, according to the Sumerian king list by Ivan Petrichevic, 27th of November, 2017, from Ancient Code website. According to the Sumerian king list, Eridu was the first city in the world. The opening line reads, Nam Lugal Anta Eddeaba, Ariduki Nam Lugala, which means, when kingship from heaven was lowered, the kingship was in Eridu. The Eridu coordinates are 30 degrees 4857.02 north and 45 degrees 5945.85 east was an ancient city in south, southern Mesopotamia, 24 kilometers south of Ur, in the current archaeological site of Til Abu Shahrain. If you remember, folks, in the Bible, the city of Ur was where Abraham was claimed to have been from, and which is where also the nuclear war of Anu and Enki occurred from Anunnaki, and it's also in the Bible. Sodom and Gomorrah that was destroyed, where Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt because she looked back to see the explosion. Um, Eridu, also translated as Eridug, would mean mighty place or guidance place, according to the scholars who say this archaeological site is of great importance. At its foundation, it was most likely within walking distance of the Persian Gulf. However, currently, due to the accumulation of silt at the shoreline over the millennia, remains of Eridu are now some distance from the Gulf at Abu Shahrain in Iraq. Some scholars argue that in ancient Sumerian times, Eridu was linked to the estuary by means of channels according to the Babylonian epics. It was the first city created in the world. As noted by Sumerian mythology, the ancient city of Eridu was one of the five ancient cities built on earth before the great deluge. Eridu was the most southern city of the conglomerate of Mesopotamia, an important center of the cult to the god of the water, Enki. In July 2016, UNESCO chose the archaeological site of Tel Eridu as a mixed heritage of humanity, as, quote, part of the archaeological remains of Sumerian settlements in Lower Mesopotamia, which flourished between the 3rd and 4th millennia B.C. in the delta formed by the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, close quote. As noted by ancient Sumerian tradition, as well as the Sumerian king list, Eridu was the oldest of the cities of Mesopotamia, in whose location the god Marduk had created the world. Archaeologists have proven through research in the 20th century that the lower levels of the city, level 19, date back to at least 4,900 B.C. at the beginning of the Elobeid period. Mainstream scholars suggest the city was founded in the 54th century B.C., 5,400 years B.C. In this first stage, the ceramic remains show a significant role of Eridu in the region. Towards 3,800 B.C., level 6, the city had an important temple and a cemetery from which a thousand graves have been discovered. Towards the year 2,500 B.C., during the Archaic Dynastic, a ruler, perhaps, of the first dynasty of Ur built a great palace in Eridu, and at the end of the third millennium B.C., according during the reign of Amar-Sin, a large ziggurat, was built in the city which remained an important religious center in the empire of the third dynasty of Ur. Isn't a ziggurat a large tower, kind of like a, a tower of Babel? Isn't, wasn't the tower of Babel said to have been a ziggurat? According to the Sumerian king list, the first mythological king successors of the reign of heaven are those of Eridu. The king list continues. In Eridu, Alulim became king. He ruled for 28,800 years. Alangar ruled for 36,000 years. Two kings, they ruled for 64,800 years. Then Eridu fell and the kingship was taken to Bad Tibira. The Sumerian king list describes in unprecedented detail a time when the world was governed by beings referred to as gods for thousands of years. This is one of the main reasons why mainstream scholars suggest that the Sumerian king list is a mixture of prehistorical and mythological accounts, and that those rulers who lived through implausibly lengthy reigns were not real and were part of ancient folklore. 
Mainstream scholars see the age of a ruler allegedly governed over the people as a reflection of his or her importance. The more years a king ruled, the more important he was. However, this is highly debated among many authors. This ancient city was one of the most important settlements in ancient times, and the urban nucleus of Eridu was Enki's temple, called House of the Aquifer. As usual, thank you for coming to Plain Mundane Show. I'm Alex. Please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. And I'm out.